you've probably heard something about Swift and its ability to use emojis as variable names. Now this sounds incredibly crazy and maybe a bit obscure, but I think it's a very cool part of Swift. So I'm going to show you here an example. Here we have a regular old variable named dog and it's containing a string. Now rather than just putting here dog, why don't we just use the dog emoji? Uh, I'm using Mavericks on OS X and if you want to get to the emojis you can hit command control spacebar and it's going to pop up this little box. So here under emoji in nature there are all these animals and I'm just going to double click the dog and now I have a variable whose name is this dog emoji and you can see that it's a completely normal variable. Uh, I can use it just like I would any other variable. So here I'm going to uh, update it to now say Sean and you can see that's totally valid. You can pass this into a function. Uh, I mean whatever you want. You could use it uh, as a property. I mean it's amazing. You can use practically any Unicode character to name your variables. So one caution I guess against this is uh, emojis aren't that easy to get to, right? Either If you're in your code and you need to access this variable later, either you have to scroll up and copy paste it or you'd have to do this little keyboard shortcut and you know get to the right place and find the emoji. So, and also something else I've discovered is Swift does not autocomplete on emojis. So for example, let's say I want to do a dog crap alien. That's my variable, right? If I come down here and I say, uh, okay, I want to, you know, work on this dog variable, it doesn't do autocomplete. If I start typing dog, even if I go in here and I input the uh, poop emoji, nothing. So there's a couple of reasons why it's a little bit difficult to use those emojis. Um, but I mean, it's totally your code. You do what you want. Uh, something that I think beyond the emojis is very cool about this is for developers that are non-native English speakers. Think about someone who is uh, Japanese and they've kind of been coding and using romanized versions of their own words all this time. Now, for example, I can write Inu and this is a completely valid variable name. And the code for a Japanese developer suddenly becomes much more clear and less foreign. Uh, I need it to make it Inu. So I think this is something really cool about Swift. Uh, you can use Unicode for almost any variable name, which is awesome. And be careful with those emojis. Uh, it could make a great prank if you're pushing something into a Git repo, or you may have a completely valid use for it.